Okay, so we're going to think. Um, we're going to think quite carefully now. So here are two standard electro potentials. <laughs> here are two standard electro potentials. This is what we were doing last lesson. So we've got zinc being reduced to so zinc two plus being reduced to zinc metal, and iron two plus being reduced to iron metal. Both are showing reductions. The first one has an electric potential of minus 0.76 volts, and the iron has one of minus 0.44 volts. So, if we go back to what we were doing last lesson, let's predict what reaction will occur. Which one is the most positive? The Yeah, that one's going to go that way, which means this one has to go that way. So, the overall equation that we would get would be Fe2 plus plus zinc goes to Fe plus Zn2 plus. That's the overall equation and the voltage for that, my potential would be 0 0.32 volts, I hope. Are people happy chappies with that? Mm, I'm still a bit concerned about the arrows. Okay, the arrows, you know, you, your happy one's got to be reversed. Yeah. Yeah, so you just reverse the more negative ones. Oh. And then add them together. Huh. That was more negative. Oh, yeah, 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 no, I remember now, sorry. Yeah, that's right. So, let's say this is under standard conditions. So this is saying I am using one mole per decimeter cubed of that and one mole per decimeter cubed of that. Let's say I come along now, and rather than doing one mole per decimeter cubed, I go absolutely mad and decide for the zinc, I'm going to use two mole per decimeter cubed solution. Yeah, we are going to have to think, how will it affect this value here? Will it make the reaction more feasible or less feasible? So we're going to have to think this one through. The way I would recommend you do it is think about the effect it will have on this. So, equilibrium. Shift to the left. That'll make it more... Oh, are you sure? I am increasing the concentration of this, so this equilibrium will shift to the... Right. To the right. It says in my book, left. It's steady. <laughs> Uh, so this one shifts to the right hand side. Yeah, you're happy with that. Yeah. What effect will that have on E standard? Decrease. Will it get more negative or less negative? Less. What effect will it have on the number of electrons if it's shifting? Increase. Oh, yeah. No, how many? Less electrons. Yeah, less electrons. Less negative, so this becomes more positive. positive. So, what will this be? If this becomes more positive, so this is maybe now I'm just going to make up a value 0 0.66 volts. So that's feasible. This becomes now, yep, E is now going to be 0 0.22 volts, so it's less feasible than it was. Yeah, you could actually, yeah, if you're on the cusp, if you've only just got, I mean, this isn't, this is only just, be, oh, you know, 0 0.3 isn't great. If you've got maybe a positive of 0 0.1, by change, so you can make feasible reactions unfeasible, but equally, if you were the other way, just minus 0 0.1 volts, by shifting it around, you can make, you can actually make it feasible. So, let's have a think, does that make sense? from what you know about equilibria. If we go back to this one, we just said it's less feasible. We go back to Le Chatelier's principle from good old AS. I have increased the concentration of that guy. What effect will that have on my equilibrium? Shift it will shift to the left. Oh, no, I got that. Thank you. I was right. <laughs> it would shift to left hand side which again is less feasible it's shifting the equilibrium right so this all links nicely with equilibrium as well this is showing this is giving me numbers 
and showing why Le Chatelier works, why it's becoming less feasible, and why it now shifts to the left-hand side. Uh, no, we can we, we can use this for redox because redox is using electron transfer, so we can we got uh, we can use electron potentials to do this for redox. So this is but it all links in with the theory. So yeah, but you're right. Not all reactions you couldn't use this with all reactions because not all of you can't have electron potentials for everything. Yeah. Things like. But are, are you happy with that? So you've got to think your way around it, and this comes up quite a lot on the papers. So you talk about. Always look at the effect on the electrons. If you've got more electrons, it's going to become more negative. If you shift it the other way, less electrons, it becomes less negative. Okay. So, example number two. First of all, let's think, think about it. This one's positive, so this one's going to go that way. This one's negative, so it makes it nice and easy. I'm going to combine them together. What do I need to do to this guy? Transfer two. Excellent. So, the overall equation becomes 2AG plus plus tin gives me tin 2 plus plus 2AG. Overall equation, um, and my voltage for that one would be 0, 0.94 volts. I'm now going to increase the concentration of AG plus. So I increase tonk of AG plus. What happens to my equilibrium? Shift to the right. Shift to the right. So this one, so in the blue upper, it shifts to the right hand side. This means what's happening to my number of electrons. Yes, electrons. Yeah. Which means this becomes more positive. More, positive. more positive. So this becomes more positive. So I, it sometimes helps to just put numbers on it just to help you. So if you kind of just make up something, okay, so it's going to be about 0. Point, you know, it just it doesn't matter. So you can just write little notes. Let's say it goes up to 0. 0.9 volts. So what's going to happen to this number here? Increase, increase. This is going to become more positive. more positive. So it becomes more feasible. Does that make sense? Always link it back. Does it make sense from Le Chatelier? Mm -hmm. I've increased the concentration of him. The equilibrium shifts to the right hand side. So yes, it does make sense from the Chitalio. This time, I'm going to increase my concentration of tin 2 plus. So this one is going to shift to the right. To the right. Is that because yeah. the arrow is going that way? No. No, it's just this is from thinking of the Chitalio. Mm. This one shifts. Yeah, I've increased the concentration of that, the equilibrium shifts to remove the increased concentration, mm -hmm. so it shifts to the other side. Mm -hmm. So don't worry, those, the, the arrows in black are forming this reaction here. So just look at the arrows in blue. This shifts to the right hand side, what happens to the number of electrons therefore? Nice. So this becomes so fewer. fewer. Electrons, which means this one becomes more positive. More positive. So let's pretend it now only is minus 0 0.04 volts. What happens to this number here? It becomes less positive. Yep, yeah, real. This becomes less, less positive and less feasible. Um, I, I'm just confused. Steady on there. So, I'm just going to wrap this one up, and then I'll address your confusion. <laughs> Does that make sense for Le Chitalier's? Yeah. yeah. Should do. Increase the concentration, it's going to be right. Right, how can I address your confusion? Um, so, um, I just can't remember about increasing concentration. Does it always shift to the right hand side? It, 
Yeah, if you, shift, if you increase the concentration of reactant, it shifts towards the size of the product. So when we, when we do AS, we can so whichever we'll side you have the concentration of it, I know why I'm confused, just because I wrote it wrong on the first one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Rookie error.